You can use the Pin tool to lock modeling components in place. Once you pin an object, it cannot be moved until it is unpinned. This can help prevent you from moving objects accidentally. To illustrate this, start the Wall tool. Use the Rectangle Draw tool to sketch four walls. Press Escape twice to cancel the command and then select one of the walls. With the wall selected, on the Modify Walls contextual ribbon, in the Modify panel, there's a Pin tool. When you click this tool, a push pin icon appears adjacent to the wall. When you click in the drawing area to deselect the wall, the push pin icon disappears. But when you select the wall again, the push pin once again appears. When you deselect the wall, the push pin again disappears. Switch to the Modify ribbon. Click the Pin tool, and then click another wall. Notice that in the status bar, Revit tells you that you must press Enter or Spacebar to finish. Once you do that, you can see that the wall you selected has also been pinned. So you can either select the wall to be pinned first, or select the Pin tool and then the wall. Once an object has been pinned in place, you must first unpin the object before it can be moved, although there are a few exceptions to this rule. A pinned object will still move if it is set to move with nearby elements, if the level on which it is placed moves up or down, or if it is a hosted element and the host moves. When you start the Move tool and try to move a pinned wall, Revit displays an error message that cannot be ignored. It simply states that the pinned element cannot be moved. Other than viewing more information about the error, the only option is to click Cancel. To unpin an element, select the pinned object and then either click the push pin in the drawing area or click Unpin in the Modify panel of the ribbon. If you click the push pin in the drawing area, an X appears near the pin icon to indicate that it is unlocked. You can then lock it again by clicking the push pin. If you unpin an object using the button in the ribbon, the X does not appear. In that case, to pin the object again, you must click Pin in the Modify panel of the contextual ribbon. The Modify panel is the best place to unpin multiple objects that have been pinned. To delete a pinned element, you must first unpin it. To see this, select all four walls and then click Delete in the Modify panel of the contextual ribbon. When you do, the unpinned walls are deleted, but the pinned walls are highlighted and a warning appears. The warning simply states that pinned objects were not deleted and that they must be unpinned before they can be deleted. However, you can click Expand Warning Dialog and then drill down in the warning to see the specific elements that are pinned. You can then check any or all of the elements and click Delete Checked to delete those elements without unpinning them first. In some situations, Revit automatically pins objects when you create them. For example, start the Wall tool. Then in the Type selector, choose the Storefront Curtain Wall Type, and then sketch a wall. Click Modify to end the command. If you use a window selection to select a portion of the wall, you will see a row of pins. Switch to the South Elevation view to better see that the mullions, panels, and curtain grid lines that you selected are currently pinned. They're pinned because they were created based on rules defining the storefront curtain wall type. The components within complex objects that are created based on rules, such as curtain walls, are pinned in place based on those rules. Before you can modify any of those components, 
you need to unpin those objects. However, if you move the curtain wall, all of the associated components that are pinned will move with it. Likewise, if you delete the curtain wall, all of the pinned elements will be deleted, and a warning will not appear. The reason is the same as stated before. The pinned elements were created based on rules and are hosted to the curtain wall. So they will move with the curtain wall and will be deleted with the curtain wall. They just have to be unpinned if you want to modify them within the curtain wall itself.